Hi everyone, Ross here from Ross McGibbon Reptile Photography. It's been a while since I released a video, so for anyone new to my content, I'm a professional snake handler, wildlife photographer specializing in reptiles, and public educator on snake behavior. Earlier this year, I relocated this large, highly venomous tiger snake from a farm in Tasmania, where the owners usually use a shotgun to manage snakes on their property. On release, I filmed this impressive snake in its natural habitat and put together this video to debunk some of the common misconceptions in Australia that tiger snakes are aggressive and out to get you. Okay, so I'm in Tasmania and I went earlier this morning with my partner to one of their friend's properties and he usually shoots any snakes that he finds but he's been getting a lot of tiger snakes because he has a lot of frogs and he has chickens and just like any other property they attract a lot of snakes to their property. So they've had seven already this season and they've unfortunately shot every single one of them. And yesterday I went to have a look around his property and we just so happened to find one uh, in their herb garden. And it was this approximately four foot long tiger snake. And what I've been able to do is catch her and relocate her. And we're down here at a beautiful location where she can be released and live the rest of her life. And I've just finished taking a photo of this uh, beautiful tiger snake, which I'll show you soon. As I edge closer to get the shot, the snake rears up and performs a mock strike or defensive lunge. Not to bite me, but to warn me to keep my distance. Snakes will rear up to appear larger and a mock strike is the snake's equivalent of a boxer throwing a feint or a fake punch that intentionally misses or falls short of its target. Snakes do this to put their opponent on the back foot by giving the impression they are striking, but without carrying the risk of personal injury by physically coming into contact with their opponent. Let me slow down this footage and freeze the frame to reveal that this snake means no harm. You'll see the snake has a closed mouth and it pulls up just short of my equipment. I've experienced this behavior hundreds of times in my line of work, and I can assure you that this snake had no intention of biting me throughout this encounter. If this snake really meant business, it would keep pursuing and striking until it succeeded. However, this behavior is typically reserved for acquiring prey. When snakes defend themselves, they resort to all kinds of behaviors to avoid physical confrontation, which I've explained at length in my other videos. I'm aware by releasing this footage, I'm opening myself up to the usual criticism, but I believe the educational value and conservation message of this content outweighs the small amount of stress that the snake experiences from my close proximity. Footage like this is also one of the best ways I can show people how defensive behavior is often mistaken for aggression and that snakes aren't out to get you. Should you encounter a snake and witness defensive behavior, Remember, snakes don't mean you harm, nor are they being territorial. They are simply guarding their personal safety against what they perceive as a large predator. I'll also share what I told the property owners when I removed this snake. Apart from informing them it's illegal to kill protected wildlife and they could face heavy fines, the main point I covered was if you are able to leave the older and wiser snakes around, they are very effective at keeping out of your way and managing rodents. If you remove the top predator from the area, rats and mice proliferate, attracting more snakes. Potentially younger, more nervous individuals that may be quicker to resort to defensive behavior or biting when encountered. Personally, I find the older and wiser snakes more chilled and less inclined to bite, and I hope this footage has demonstrated that. To learn more about snake behavior, check out my other videos covering defensive behavior in more detail. I'll now leave you with my best photo from the encounter, which is also the photo for February in my new 2024 fundraising calendar that's out now. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I hope you've learned something new.